is going on guys this is the RT Ranger and today we'll be making our third CCNA networking tutorial today we're going to be talking about something very important to networking and something that will um, definitely will definitely need, need to be familiar with down the line for as my tutorials and learning CCNA and networking and the OSI model the OSI model is what we're going to be talking about today and it's a, it's a it's very very important trust me very important you definitely need to be familiar with the OSI model because every IT field or any computer field or whatever you're doing is going to involve the OSI model and knowing what each layer represents and how it, it fits into the big picture. All right, so I know you guys are like, well, hey, IT Ranger, what is the OSI model? And that's what I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you that the OSI model is an open system and a connection model that's what the OSI stands for and this is constructed of seven layers and what these seven layers do they actually break down how data moves across a network and that's very essential in knowing how when you're troubleshooting so you'll know which layer to start with or if you have connectivity issues or anything like that you'll know which which layer that the problem would be at and it will, it will help you to identify the problem easier by knowing the layers so it was kind of I know that's kind of confusing but I'll break it down easier so the, OS, the OSI model has seven layers the application layer the presentation layer the session layer the transport the network the data link layer and the physical layer and these all layers they all have different roles and they basically play into a big picture and the big picture is basically moving data across the network so let's go ahead and get a definition for the OSI model and just kind of take notes with me so that way you'll be familiar and you have these notes for you know future references and just to you know it's better when you write things versus just see it and that way you can kind of take it in. So the OSI model is a seven layered, well is a structured seven layer, let's just put is a struct is a seven layer structure that breaks down how data or data is moved across a network and the, the OSI model basically it helps you to to visualize how data is, is moved or how data is in just processing data so let's go ahead and put that in our definition too. Helps visualize moving data. All right, and one more thing. Um, so, and with this layer, it, as you see here, is seven layers. And the reason why that, that is because we, the OSI model is designed to make it easier for, for, for IT professionals or anybody, networking administrator, technician, whatever you are, the OSI model is designed to make it a little easier and it's a it's designed to actually make it where you can it breaks it down so the network communications it breaks it down to each and into processes and each processes like we have the physical layer it's a certain process that goes there and we'll talk about this in a later tutorial we'll be breaking down each uh each role of of the the layers in, in in tutorials in separate tutorials, so but each layer has has its own process, and the process is the physical layer has a process, the data link has a role which it does the process, and the network and so on and so forth, and these all have roles, and it's very important to be familiar with that roles because like I said, it helps you troubleshoot and and trust me in your interviews or whatever you're doing, you're going to be questioned about the OSI model. Trust me, you're going to be questioned about it. I was with my first job and, and trust me it's gonna come up and you'll need it quicker than you think you'll need it you need it more than you think so um, let's go ahead and put this second definition let's put breaks down network communication into processes into a process well let's put in two processes that fits into a bigger picture. Oh, kind of go off the screen a little bit. Let me make this a little smaller for you. All right, there we go. So, and what it does, 
it, it breaks down the network communication to processes as we see the seven processes over here and they all fit into a bigger picture and this bigger picture is basically the OSR model and the bigger picture is moving data moving data that's 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 really the big picture it's really nothing really you know extravagant to realize about it it's the whole process of moving data and it's very important about moving data and, it, and trust me this net this model is like one of the most the best tools that you know anyone could invent it you know if you want a little more history on the OSI model just go to Google and type in the OSI model and you know Wikipedia so much information there on it and you know just do a little more research you know past my tutorial because you know you definitely want to be in depth about you know everything you know about the OSI model so um, the, the first layer we're going to talk about today is we're just going to talk about the presentation the, the physical layer and the physical layer is it's basically it, it controls the interfaces it controls uh, network medium devices and network medium devices such as routers or things like that so let's basically put it and this also it converts data into bits to be transferred into across ethernet into a device and then so forth and so on let's go ahead and get it let's get a definition real fast and then I'll show you how it works in depth so let's go ahead and put converts data into uh, let's put it into bits for transmission so the physical layer converts data into bits for transmission and to basically be transferred across a network that's basically it in in, in simpler terms and this basically it it, can, it 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 involves interfaces between network mediums and what I mean by network mediums um, I, what I mean by that is like if you have two routers or anything like that and they both have interfaces that's a network medium or if you have two PCs connected to it, if you have a computer connected to a switch or to anything like that router those are network mediums and those control how data flows between those two which is bits through through uh, Ethernet and the transmission it includes is light electricity which uses which is Ethernet light is used in fiber optic electricity is used in fast Ethernet and then we have infrared and that's basically what your Wi-Fi is and you have radio waves and that's your Wi-Fi too it's just different types. All right, so there we go. So you have a basic definition of the physical layer, and what I'm going to do now, I want to kind of you know draw it out and show you guys what the actual physical layer is. So here we are. So we have um, we have a PC here, PC here, and we have another PC here. So, and both, let's connect these with an Ethernet cable. So this is our Ethernet cable right here, and these are two PCs. So, um, from, from PC1, well, let's put this 1, and we'll put this PC2. So from PC1, you want to be able to ping, or a ping is basically used when you're trying to communicate or to test connectivity between two devices. So we want to ping PC1 from PC2. Well, we're going to ping PC2 from PC1. So let's go ahead and ping. So we're going to pretend like we're sending a ping, and the ping is going to go from here, and all this. This is this is this is basically the physical layer right here. What we're doing, and so when it sends a ping, the ping is going to go from the computer through as ones and zeros, one zero one zero, because ones and zeros are bits. That's what ones and one and zeros are bits, and those bits are going to be transferred across the Ethernet to the next PC, and it's going to say, "Hey, I got a message from there." And then it's going to go into that interface, that PC, and it's going to send a reply. And then it's going to say, hey, I got it. And it's going to send it again in one, zeros, one, zeros, and ones, and zeros. And this is the physical layer. This is the physical layer. The Ethernet cable right here, the interfaces, or the NIC, the network. The NICs are basically network interface cards. That's what a NIC is. And every computer has to have a NIC if it's going to communicate with the network. And that's really a central part of having a computer because if you're not having a computer now on the network there's no point in having it correct <laughs> so 
So, and that, that's basically consists of the physical layer. And another another um, example would be a router and another router. And they're both connected. Let's put R1, and it's going to be R2. So we have R1 and R2. So we want to, uh, and then we have, let's say this computer is connected to R1. So this computer wants to ping from here to R1. And and let's just let's just pretend that these are di directly connected with Ethernet. And so if we ping from here to here, the data is going to be transferred in ones and zeros. If the computer is if the computer is connected just from the PC to the router, it's going to be like a, it's going to be an Ethernet cable, and it's going to be ones and zeros. And it's going to say, hey, it's going to send a ping from here to there. And this all is on the physical layer. That's the whole physical layer right here. And if it doesn't, this time it's going to say, hey, I didn't get your ping. And let's put an X just showing that it didn't get it. This is scribble. So it didn't get the message. And now it's going to go back here and the computer is going to be saying respond time zero. And it's going to not, it's not going to respond. And it's going to basically tell it's waiting. And then finally it's going to say, hey, you know, it must be down or something must be wrong with it because, hey, I'm not receiving anything. I'm not receiving a response. And now we know from that, we know that it is a net, it is a physical layer issue because we're directly connected with the router, directly connected. So we know that either the interface on that router is down or something's wrong with it, or we know that our cable is bad, which is all physical layer, or we know that the PC one interface net may be bad, or, but usually if it, it, it's not bad unless you're, if you can send a ping out, there's nothing wrong with your interface on your PC. So now we know that it's either the cable that we have, the Ethernet cable, maybe have a shortage or or maybe leaking electric signal or anything like that. Or we know that the router is down or the interface is down. And so just like I did here, that's basically how you could use the physical layer and use the OSI model to troubleshoot issues. So today we basically covered the, the basics of the OSI model and we went to the physical layer, went in depth with the physical layer, and I demonstrate to you what that is and, and how it's used. So um, and my next my next couple of tutorials on CCNA will be uh, on the OSI model and each layer is the OSI model. So today we covered the physical layer and my next tutorial we probably will actually be covering the data link layer. And oh by the way, I want to give you guys an easy way to remember the OSI model or each layer. And it's gonna be please. Well, let, I'm gonna type it out on PowerPoint. And this is gonna be please, please do not throw throw sausage pizza. Oh wait, I love sausage pizza, by the way. So yeah, so there it is. So and this is an actual shortcut to knowing each uh, layer because here we have please, which is the physical, we have do which is the data link, not, which is the network, and then we have throw, which is the transport layer, and then we have sausage, sausage is the session layer, and then we have pizza, the presentation layer, and then away, which is the application layer. So there you go. I just gave you guys a little, you know, trick to remember the layers of OSI model, and, you know, that's basically it for this tutorial. Um, next tutorial, like I said, we'll be covering the data link layer, so don't miss out. And this is the IT Ranger. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, and I'll catch you guys next time.